Hello Transformation, let's take a step back in time to recreate the beautiful, iconic Alia makeup look and um, let's get into it. So I'm going to be trying out INV's clusters. And I'm going to use their little one mascara. I think it's supposed to be a glue mascara. And but I did use their I not the I Envy. Well, I did use I Envy. It's a Celash glue as well, adhesive. And these are how the clusters look. So I'm going to start applying them one by one. And at first I had a hard time because when I pulled them out, they were shedding a little bit. But um I think over time, because as you guys see, you guys can see my face expression. So I just had to pick them up with my fingers. And I um, used the applicator <clears throat> for guidance to apply these to my lashes. So it took me a minute, but I did um, get used to it. So, you know, you guys just bear with me. Don't be laughing at me. And you see how the lashes start to, uh, yeah, they was like shedding. It was crazy. I'm like, I didn't know what to do. But I got them on. Um, but I am applying some lash glue, as you guys see, by I Envy. And I'm going to let it dry a little bit. <clears throat> And I'm applying that one so it can help stick. They sent me about three of these. Um, the lashes are definitely cute. I just didn't like the shedding. So I do hope that the other ones do not shed. But this was just the particular one that I opened first. But I love that the lashes are very natural. They're very light. And you don't even notice that you have them on. So they look just like your regular lashes. They have darker ones. They have ones that's really light. Um, I love these lashes. These are my go-to. So, um, I'm applying the lashes on. I had a hard time. Um, but I did get them on and I really like them. They sent me so many, so they do love me wearing, um, individuals. So I am applying my lash glue to the lashes as you guys see. So I'm showing you guys how I apply my lashes for individuals. This is how I do them. I know everybody do theirs differently, but this is the easiest way for me to do it. So I always put lash glue to double them because I know I sleep well, I move wildly. So I make sure that my lashes stays on for a great couple of days or weeks. So, and as you guys see, it's on there. And just take your time. Of course, they're not going to stick automatically sometimes. So, don't get frustrated. Take your time. Just the glue and visually get tacky. I need to buy me a little fan, so... So I'm doing it once again and you guys will see it that I'm applying it close up I said take your time as you guys see there you go it's in there and if you see a little white stuff on the lash that's the glue it's going to dry up I'm just making sure that the lashes, oops, it came off. I wanted to show you guys this because I'm not perfect at doing lashes. And it's okay. Nobody's not perfect. Everybody's going to have their flaws. So I just wanted to show you guys my flaws of me putting these individuals on. I do struggle a lot. It is frustrating, but you just have to take a deep breath and... You know, you will get it. So now we start off with the makeup. So since we have the lashes on on this eye, I'm using like um, a brown. 
I am going to use the I Envy eyeshadow uh, palette. And I'm going to blend in this brown. Because in the picture, Aaliyah, she was um, wearing like a, a brown color. Okay, so that's the picture down below. Um, from your left, which is from my right. In the video um so i'm playing like this new color um i can't even think of the name of this it's not i think it's called excellent but it's like this shimmer um nude color and i know she used to wear um, these colors a lot so i'm really just taking my finger and applying it and i'm going to use some concealer i use a lighter concealer of course i use the nika k carto number six I apply that first underneath my eye and then I go in with the medium shade with which is called the absolute cool cafe and then I go in with uh, mocha the concealer I'm gonna apply some dark black well just regular black eyeliner which I call it dark because um, that was the style back then in the 90s and early 2000s is like the black liner or the heavy eyeshadow the black um but i'm just using the black eyeliner as my guide to highlight my eye so that's what i'm doing because it will miss alia look and i'm going to go ahead and blend my concealer out so I really just used it two concealers because her skin tone, it was a little bit lighter. Um, so I kind of kept it simple because mostly her makeup was just very simple. And um, I, she wore like a pinkish color in the picture for her lips. So I outlined my lips with a dark brown to enhance the color a little bit. But I know I, at first I didn't get it as pink, but later on I did. So you guys will see the results at the end of this video. Um, I'm outlining my lips. And I'm using a gel pencil. I have tried to do um, lip liners, but they don't go as smooth. But I am using the Gel Liner Brown by Ruby Kisses. And it's been working out for me. And I'm using their lip gloss. Um, rose oil their lip glosses work for me I don't care what nobody says it gives it moisture Ruby, uh, Ruby Kisses and Nika K and I'm using Nika K um, glow up um, lip gloss that have the shimmer it's number 2 and I'm going to show you guys the final look and this is it. I think I I believe that I recreated the look. Very simple. And I love Aaliyah. Thank y'all for watching. If you guys want to see more of my makeup looks, please tag down below. Comment down below. And tell me who, which artist you guys would like to see next. See ya. Bye. And guys, don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. And support me for Sephora. Everything will be in my community tab. Bye.